In design school, they showed us how to work with wood, plastic, and metal, but most university ID shops don't have the machinery to work flexible materials like fabric and webbing. And in a production environment, the manufacturers of, say, military webbing gear require thousands of dollars worth of specialized machines. But if you're a design student on a budget, or just looking to make some simple things for yourself, you can acquire some inexpensive items, including a thrift store sewing machine, to create your own very basic webbing-based projects. Even if you've never sewed a stitch in your life, it's pretty easy to make dog leashes and collars, and I've made things like this handy adjustable sling for when I have to carry heavy boxes down to the post office. You can also learn to repair webbing-based items you already own, like this bag where the plastic buckle has become broken. Now I should stress that with the methods I'll show you, you're not going to be making battle-ready combat packs for Navy SEALs, but these techniques will be adequate to prototype your own devices. To start with, let's go over the materials. Webbing comes in different widths. Here I'm using all one inch wide webbing. And what's crucial to understand is that it comes in different materials. Here are three common types you might think of trying, but I've learned the hard way that only two of these are really suitable for the method we're going to use. The first is lightweight polypropylene. It's the stuff you'd find on cheap bags and dinky camera straps. Despite being plastic, it's got a relatively soft feel and it's about a 16th of an inch thick. This is the most economical option if you're looking to create a bunch of mock-ups. The one inch wide costs just 25 cents a foot on McMaster car. The second is extra strength cotton. As you can see, when we cut it open, it's reinforced on the inside with nylon fibers. The texture is soft. This feels the most like what you'd find on an old World War II bag at an Army Navy store. It's also a bit thicker than the polypropylene at 3 seconds of an inch, but we can still work with it quite easily. The extra strength cotton costs three times as much as the polypropylene, it's 82 cents a foot on McMaster car. Here's the material you're going to be tempted to get. This is called ultra abrasion resistant nylon and it feels the most like what you'd find on a modern day military bag. However, while it's the same thickness as the polypropylene at just a 16th of an inch, the weave of it is so dense that you're going to have problems working this with the basic methods that we're going to use. So save your money and avoid this stuff for now. There's no point in acquiring the best material if you don't have the right tools to work it and this stuff is almost a buck per foot. Now let's talk about the hardware. The great utility of webbing is that you can use it to bind and connect things in an adjustable way. For that you'll need squeeze release buckles like this plastic set. The variant that they sell on McMaster, which is five or six bucks for a 10 pack, is flat. If you're creating a dog collar, you'll want to track down a website that sells this curved variety. This is called a feed through buckle or a webbing slide and they allow you to introduce adjustability into your designs. They're five or six bucks for a pack of 25. For metal hardware, you've got these nickel-plated steel D-rings, six bucks for a 10-pack. You can shackle things to them using slide bolt snap hooks like this one, which are about $2.50 each. Make sure that you order the strap eye variety, which has a rectangular opening to admit a webbing strap. Don't get this kind with the half round eye because these are made for rope. If you put webbing through a circular eye, it's a bitch to sew and your webbing will fray faster. With all four of these items, remember that you have to order them to match the width of your webbing. In our case, it's one inch to one inch. In the next video, I'll cover the tools you'll need to turn these raw materials into something you can use. I'm Rain Nove for Core 77 TV. Thanks for watching.